Dad! 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 Come on, get up. It's time to go to the park. Come on, mate. Get in bed a second. It still looks pretty dark. But Dad! Dad! You said we could go early in the morning. Dad starts yawning. In bed now, the tickle monster's coming out. That's your final warning. Mum speaks up. Go on, you said you would. And anyway, more bed for me. Before you go, flick us on the kettle, bring us up a cup of tea. So, Charlie and his dad have ended up on the park, both kitted up doing kicky-ups. Now these two are football mad. They get their boots on the opportunity they had, you see, Dad's always had a competitive side. He really tried to tone it down, but if Charlie had scored, he'd score two more. He wasn't afraid to go in there with a bit of a shoulder, but he said it's going to give you strength when you're growing older. He liked to relate life lessons to football, he said, son, no matter how big, small or tall you are, you don't stop and cry when you hit the bar. Sometimes in life things don't go away. You've got to keep playing the game even on a, a windy day. As his dad is talking, Charlie hits the ball sweep with his left like you wouldn't believe. His dad turns and looks in amazement and says, that's our cue to leave. Charlie's getting ready for his first day at high school. Smart shirt, blazer on, black tie, cool. He heads downstairs smelling like he's used more men's cologne than Super Dragoon. Shouts, Mum, I'm leaving, but she's on the phone. As he gets in the kitchen, he sees an orange shoebox on the table with a swish tick on the side with a note on the top saying, wear them with pride. As he opens the box, he reveals the most beautiful black and white football boots you'll ever have seen. He wonders if he's really awake or if he's still in a dream. Inside the left boot, he found a small folded letter. It started with from Dad. Try these, maybe they'll fit you better. It went on to say, listen son, I couldn't be more proud of you. You put 110% effort in everything that you do. You're polite and friendly to every single person you meet. You're honest and caring and I know you don't cheat. Seriously, man, good luck today. I know you'll be all right. But remember the first rule, my boy. Always shoot on sight. As Charlie read that, I had a smile on his face from here to here. As he headed out the door, laughing with a tear to his eye. If he could move any quicker, he would touch the sky. Charlie's Cup final. His whole family have gone to watch the game. They couldn't believe the amount of people there screaming his name. As the starting muscle blows, he looks over to his dad, who's standing on the sideline, trying to look fine, holding up a big sign. You could see the nerves in his eyes and the tension in his hands. Well, Charlie's got a job to do as he waves to his fans. Half-time whistle comes and they're 1-0 down. As Charlie heads off to the change room, he's wearing a frown. But his dad grabbed his arm before he wanders out of sight. He said, remember what I said about the bar, son? You don't cry, you always fight. 20 minutes in the second half. Dan picks the ball up on his byline. Dan over to Alfie, Alfie through to Steve. Steve takes four men and he's got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. Steve back to Dan who turns past his man, lofts it over to Chris, Chris darts down the right. The goal is now in sight. Plays a one-two with Andy, a ball whipped in, a body flies in, a big head by Tom. A goal, one-one. The final whistle's approaching and Charlie receives the ball from Steve. He takes the touch, he has a look up, he hits a shot sweep with his left like you wouldn't believe. It goes completely silent as it glides in the roof of the net. The crowd start roaring, losing their shit. This is a moment he'll never forget. Game over, 2-1. The final whistle's been blown. The crowd were making noises completely unknown. The first move Charlie makes, he shoots over to his dad. He hugs him, they laugh. He gives him 50 quid and says, have a good night, you've earned it, my lad. We're in the hospital now and Charlie has a baby on the way. Let's just say he can really shoot, ain't just talking about with his football boot. Both families in the waiting room is silent and still, the cat has everyone's tongues as Charlie and his girlfriend are labor warding, she's screaming out her lungs. Two hours on and finally, they're presented with their new delicate baby boy. Charlie holds him in his arms and sobs with tears of love and joy. As they get out the ward door and the corridor he is welcomed by his dad. He just takes a look up and says, you alright granddad? They fall in each other's arms and hold each other tight. His dad said, I told you so. I told you you'd do all right. This isn't going to be easy now. There are going to be days where it's like drawing Barcelona away. Come on, Dad. I've learned from the best. I've got my boots tied up and I'm, I'm ready to play.
Charlie, his dad and little Max are now together playing in the park. They've been kicking around for hours now and it's getting pretty dark. Max picks up the ball and places it sturdy on the spot. Takes about 20 steps back, eyes it up and gets ready to take the shot. Charlie and his dad look back at him, smiling, grin and both shout, This one for the win! Max runs up. Strikes the ball sweet with his left like you wouldn't believe. Charlie and his dad look back in amazement and say, That's our cue to leave. On the drive back, they're all singing, Bubbles coming home, it's coming home, it's coming. As Charlie's on the dashboard drumming, his dad looks around and says, Cherish these moments, because life's about the memories you make. As he pulls up to the house, he puts his foot on the brake, he says, Sometimes in life you need to be more like a goalkeeper. Take a back seat and just observe the game. Some people in life take their eye off the ball, miss the most magnificent moments and that's a true shame. Charlie looks back at his dad, he says, you know what, you're not too bad for an old lad. Max waves a grand goodbye, they both look at each other with love in their eyes. We're at the hospital again and this time it isn't great news. Grandad's not got long left, the final whistle's approaching and we've surrendered to lose. The whole family gather around the side of the bed, Charlie's holding his hand as he slowly turns his head. He said, Son, look after the girls and my little man Max. I know they'll be alright and you keep them on the right tracks. Remember what I told you about living for today. To find peace is in the moment and there ain't no other way. You can't always just look at the goal. You need to focus on the steps leading there. Concentrate on every moment with precision and care ah, I'll never forget the first time I saw you hit the ball sweep with your left like I couldn't believe My time's coming up son, but it isn't time to grieve Just remember the beautiful memories we had And time spent upon the park When we kicked the ball for hours and hours and get lost within the dark Two hours on and Grandad's passed away We're at the final part of the story now, it's the morning of the next day Charlie and Max are around Grandad's cleaning around the house. It's so calm and quiet in there you could hear the scutting of a mouse as Charlie goes in his old bedroom. He sees the orange shoebox with a night switch tick laid upon the bed. As he opens it, he finds a small folded letter. He smiles and he shakes his head. It read, Boys, this one's for you. Now this isn't time to cry. Everybody's gonna die. It's time to remember the days we're all flying high. So here's some advice. I thought I'd put it in standard formation through ways you're going to understand it, in football translation. Maxi, when it comes to girls, don't just go route one. Have tactics, play it simple and take your time. Trust me, the right one will come along and it's sure damn be worth the climb. Sometimes the one with the highest power, like the referee, is going to be a dick. You can't just get angry and scream, son. Play it smart or it'll make you sick. There's a reason why Messi and Ronaldo have worked their way to the top. And that's through passion, dedication, and training non-stop. Learn from the best players. They look up, have composure, and always work on their self-control. If you make a mistake, put your hands up. It's important for your soul. Charlie, when you're arguing with Sarah, you have to remember why she become your lover, companion, and your best friend. Go out there and treat her. It doesn't have to be football every weekend. Lads, Take every opportunity. There's so many wonderful things you can do. Aim and shoot for the stars, my boys. I'm so proud of you two.